Hey guys, this is Chris from Mold Power back one more time. Uh, got the truck backed in here. Um, if you guys didn't know, I had to take my uh, my secondary battery from my passenger side out when I put that giant turbo in. And it's starting to get late in the year and uh, I'm gonna have to put that back for winter. So uh, I'm gonna start working on making a battery tray for this thing. Uh, I think I talked about this before, but uh, I was going to take out my uh, spare tire carrier here, right here, especially since I don't have 35, or I've got 35 so the stock tire wouldn't work anymore. So we're just going to, I'm going to have to take this thing out and uh, it's welded in unfortunately so we're going to have to cut the welds out. and. Uh, just take that out and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use some of these holes that they already have up in these cross beams here and use that to suspend my battery down so I'm gonna get working on these these welds up here uh, see if I can get you a nice picture of what I'm looking at if you can see right here You can see it's welded there and then open on the sides so I just have to cut this weld out on both sides uh, get kind of deep and then hopefully just bang it with a hammer a couple times and it'll come right out uh, that way if I ever need to I can weld it back in no problems I might even be able to shift it so it actually fits with this exhaust now <laughs> Since this is so large, and uh, this is that one that I built, and uh, it seems to be holding up pretty good. Haven't had any problems with it. No leaks, no cracks. So uh, life is good so far. Uh, I'm going to start working on, go get my uh, cutter, and uh, I'm going to take this tube out. This is that tube for the uh, cable drive on it. I'm going to take that out, and then we'll start cutting. Got this carrier out. And uh, man, can I say that was not fun. I thought it was just gonna, I was gonna be able to cut it out and then twist it, it'll fall right out. No, that is not how they put these things in here. Uh, they must put these in before they put the bed on because it will not come out without the bed off. Uh, I had to take the rear bolts out of the bed and pull it up. So uh, just save yourself some time. And if you're gonna do that, just, uh, yeah, get it a, uh, get the bed up a little bit before uh, attempting it. That way you can at least rotate it and get it out a little bit. So uh, this is what I'm looking at right now. And I would say it's worth it. I mean, look all this room we have for activities now. Uh, so, uh, I mean, really, if you really wanted to, you could build a nice case or a nice uh, battery box down here and put three batteries in it and there's enough room. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, clean up the welds off the top of these that way uh i don't have anything to uh start rusting too bad i don't know if you can see that there i'm just going to clean what's left of that weld up there uh take some of this rust off that was underneath of there and uh splash some primer on it put some paint on it and uh fix some of the scratches i put up here from uh getting that damn thing out so uh, this thing's a 2006 and it's not in half bad shape still and I'd like to keep it that way So we're gonna put as much paint and primer as we can on here to keep it pretty as long as I can um, So yeah, I'm gonna take care of that and once I get it smooth, I'll uh, get back pretty guys. I uh, just Hit a few of these spots up here that I saw better metal on when I was taking that uh, uh, spare tire bracket out I hit it with some 400 grit and scuffed it up a little bit. I'm about to wash everything down with some water. And as you can see, I got everything all nice and flush up here. So primer should stick on this fairly easily. I mean, there's still a little bit of rust on here, but at some point in time, I'll end up just pulling the bed off and then, uh, painting the frame and the underside of the bed. Uh, this never 
this was a Texas truck. Somebody was actually a, had a keen eye and saw that in one of my videos, and uh, it never came with under undercoating, so I'd like to undercoat it and then uh, do some rust encapsulating paint on the frame so uh, she stays nice for a while. But uh, yeah, I'll just uh, hit these two spots up here with some uh, primer and then spot primer these parts up here and uh then we can start making uh the battery tray hold or the battery holder matches pretty good up on the top part and as you can see up here i uh, got her nice and covered so uh, next i'll just put some sealer and some primer on here and uh we'll call it a day and then i can start building that uh the uh, battery box so uh next time i'll be back uh, i should have these painted at least in sealer if not uh they'll be black by the night, by when i start uh putting the uh battery box together hey guys uh, i just got uh done doing some of the work uh to fabricate myself a box and uh for my battery box and uh what I came up with is uh, using a couple of these standoffs. I'm going to have this hanging from the bottom of those uh, two boards, or not two boards, the two supports I have uh, running uh, across the truck on the bottom that the uh, spare tire holder was on. And uh, what I plan on doing is uh, drilling a hole in here, welding a nut on the bottom here so I can weld these together and then I can thread a bolt straight into here and uh, then I can run a piece of uh, steel across here underneath the bottom so I can box these in as well and then I can just set the battery on and slide it in on the side here I'll put a stop at the end I'll put a backing plate over here a backing plate in the front and a plate on the bottom with a couple of drain holes and I think I'm going to leave the sides open. There's really no reason not to. They're small enough and it's going to be tucked up high. So I don't really see an issue there. And uh, then for the bolt to come through, this will be on the top side of those two bars. The bolt will come down through here, sandwich these up. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be pretty sturdy, or at least sturdy enough anyways. I'm using some stainless steel hardware and some 12 mil. uh bolts uh, that's really all I have for now uh, the only thing that I still haven't quite worked out yet is gonna be the battery tie down uh, what I think I'm going to do is let me run through here I'm gonna cut a couple of these pieces these are solids uh, steel I think I'm gonna tap them for uh, 6 mil by 1.0 and then uh, run these as another standoff and then run a, a flat piece of steel across the top of the battery and then I could run or then I could drill the bottom of the uh, battery box and just run a bolt up through the bottom so I really shouldn't have to if I wanted to put the take the battery in and out I shouldn't have to get up there too far I just have to undo the battery cables and just slide the battery out towards the side and this is the the battery terminals i'm going with these are military style uh so and this is just to show how many cables you can get on there so yeah you can get lots of cables on there uh they're universal so if like these break or anything you can just take them off unbolt these and just replace them they're super easy i've got to redo the ones that are on the truck anyways so uh that's what i'm going with on those i'm gonna run some double ot up to the front of the truck um somebody was giving me some crap about uh all the uh extra length of wire that i'm gonna run but i think it should be just fine so i'm gonna start drilling my holes in the middle of these and uh, we'll go from there. And on my little spacers here, and uh, this is kind of what I'm gonna do, is just weld the uh, nut captively on the back of this, 
So uh, all I've got to do is feed my bolt in through the top and this should just pull it up, hopefully. At least that's what I'm going for. And uh, I'll just weld those on here now. And uh, the only reason I'm doing this is just to space everything up. That should get my spacing pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna go with that and get all the bolts in here. I am going with stainless uh, hardware, even this nuts uh, stainless, even though it's really not gonna matter because I'm gonna weld on it and it's gonna start to rust anyways. Uh, once I get these uh, um, all welded up and everything, I'm gonna get them powder coated and then I'm gonna put some oil on the inside of each of these and kind of shake it all around. That should prohibit uh, any rust from keeping going in here. Uh, I'm gonna use like some linseed oil, something like that. Uh, that way it's just gonna be like a rust inhibitor. But I am gonna powder coat all this stuff before throwing it on. Uh, I'm gonna go with satin black. Uh, I've been doing a lot of that stuff on the skyline. Looks really good. Alrighty, I'm uh, down to here now. So I'm just gonna take these captive nuts, put those in there, and weld around the perimeter up there. And then we got our stands. So almost home now. This will come down on bottom. And then this will just act like a, a big washer and everything, and it'll just like clamp down on there, hopefully. Maybe I can do this one-handed. Maybe. Just like that. So I'll just clamp it down in between them. And then this will just serve as a big washer to help spread the load out across that beam a little bit more. And uh, then I'm just going to weld the bars on the bottom of here. And I've got some angle iron I can use to slide the battery in on. And that'll be its uh, tray pretty much. And I just need to figure out something to tie it down with. So uh, once I get the truck in here and there's a decent day, I'll be able to weld the, uh, or I can go measure and uh, start cutting the uh, the uh, running bars between these two and uh, I'll get back to you when I get that stuff on. Hey everybody I'm back. Uh, I did a little bit of work on the uh, battery tray here. I got it all bolted in. Welded this piece of a quarter inch uh, one and a half inch wide uh, steel on the bottom here and this is going to be my support for this angle iron which uh, I've got right here. I'm gonna weld this up here and then uh, I'll have another one over on this side so then I can just take the battery and slide it up in here. Uh, I'm gonna see what I can do about a hold down on this. I think it may I just uh, weld a couple of tabs on the side and uh, hopefully I can just run something down that way or use a bolt or something like that so uh, Let's see what I can come up with and then I'll get this down and start welding these up. Because I've got them marked on where I'm going to put the uh, battery. This is the outsides, so I just got to weld them there and everything should be good. Alrighty everyone, I got the cross beams welded in and that is my battery sitting up there. It's back in the truck after almost a year. So uh, that's what I've got sitting right there. It's nice and sturdy and I've got have plenty of room up here as you can see plenty of room up uh, between the bed and the uh, battery so this is probably where I'm gonna start and uh, I'm gonna weld this up I'm gonna put a stop on this side to get it from uh, not move or not to slide back as far and then I gotta figure out a, a a hold down on this somehow where I'm gonna have it coming up over the center of the battery and then tying it into here somehow so I'm gonna work on that figure that out get this back on the bench finish weld everything and then uh, I can start figuring that out uh, this is my uh, battery bracket that I've got done if you've been following along and uh, I want to get this thing covered up underneath in the truck so like about this much will be hanging down so I just need to kind of make a box that will surround the sides front and back and uh, the way I think I'm going to do it is I'm going to take this up and then well or drill and tap a couple of holes in each one of these uh, 
stand sections uh, to six, uh, six by 1.0 millimeters. That way I can have a box and then just use these four bolts, these four bolts here to hold it up and in. And uh, hopefully that'll work. So uh, I'm gonna take the battery off. I'm gonna pull the battery off and I'm gonna mark these spots on here drill and start tapping those and uh that should be hopefully about it and uh, i'll get back to you once i got the battery off here and we've got everything so i got all my marks i've centered punched here which i've uh found to be the center of these and i've got my what is it 1364 drill bit here and this is big enough for this is a five millimeter equivalent so i'll just be able to drill these out and uh, we should be able to tap that for 6 mil by 1.0 pitch and we should be good to go. Um, if my box doesn't work out kind of wet like how I wanted to, I can always weld these holes back shut so that doesn't really matter I guess. <laughs> uh, I think this will work just fine. Um, I'm just going to drill these. Whether or not I get the box made this, uh, this fall still is another thing so I'm just going to get this thing uh, taken care of and uh, don't mind the mess on the bench this is kind of how it always looks but it's a, just an organized mess so uh, I'm gonna get this going holes drilled in all four of my corners and what I'm gonna do now is uh, just go ahead and tap this thing uh, the easiest thing to do is uh, well of course you need your tap your tap handle and then a little bit of a tapping lubricant so I'll just put that on there, put this in here, and the easiest thing to do is just try to uh, get it to go in straight, which may not always be the easiest thing, but that is the main goal. And this is a quarter inch steel I'm tapping into, so there should be plenty of threads in there. Uh, tapped out now. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a ridge on each one of these, so I'm just going to take it off with my die grinder here, and then I'll uh, blow it out with the oil out with some air. And then we'll check fitness. There's just a little bit of a ridge on there, not too... Alrighty. So here we got uh, nicely tapped holes here now. They're all uh, in the center or fairly close to the center. I've got a bolt here we can try. See what they look like. Looks pretty good. They go in, that one at least went in nice and smooth. So we'll check all these other ones. Make sure everything's all nice and good. Everything threads in really nice and smooth, which is what you want. Because <laughs> if uh, they didn't, something went terribly wrong. And they're straight. Last one. Looks like we're good. So uh, I'm going to get this thing out to powder coating now. We'll get this thing nice and powder coated up. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a powder in these uh, thread holes, so I'll have to just tap them out. And then uh, the next time you see this thing, it'll be back in the truck. We're either going to be wiring it up, wiring the battery up to the other battery, or we're going to be making a box to keep this thing enclosed. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one, and thanks for watching.